All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 23. And in this lesson, we're going to be using division and the associative property to test for factors and observe patterns. So what does that mean? Uh, the idea would be, you know, if we're looking for the factors of six, that's going to be pretty easy. One times six is six. Two times three is three. All right, that's pretty straightforward. But what if we were looking for the factors of 54? Well, now it gets a little bit trickier, and that's where we're going to use known factors and then use the uh, associative property to allow us to find additional factors that might have been a little trickier to find uh, if we were just trying to use our times tables in our head. So let's say we want to find all the factors of 54. So we're going to make a little box over here factors and we're just going to keep track of all of our factors of 54 and the idea is well we definitely know that 1 times 54 is 54 so that means 1 and 54 are factors so we've got those two factors and then we can start with a known multiplication fact for example we know that 6 times 9 is 54 all right, now I'm going to put that over here as well. 6 times 9 is 54. So now we have three, uh, four factors. We have 1, 54, 6, and 9. But the cool thing is we know that 6 is, is um, 2 times 3 times 9. All right. So then we have, so 6 can really be thought of 2 times 3, so now 2 times 3 times 9 is equal to 54. All right. Now using the associative property, we can group the 3 and the 9 together, and we would get 2 times 3 times 9. And we know that's still 54, and so that gives us 2 times 27 is 54. So that gives us two new factors. 2 times 27 is 54. So we have two more factors and we can go back up to this thing and we could use the commutative property. So we could go over here. So let me get caught up again. So it's 2 times 3 times 9 and that's equal to 54, right? Now we could use the commutative property and say 3 times 2 times 9. And now we can use the associative property and group them differently. So now we can have 3 times 2 times 9. Now what's 3 times 2 times 9? Well, that's 3 times 18. So we have another two um, factors of 54. And so the idea of this lesson is the idea that we could take one of the factors, decompose it, and then use the associative property to find other factors. You can also just use straight up division to figure out if something is a factor. For example, is 2 a factor of 72? Well, you can just do division. You could say 2 goes into 72. We're going to do division. And 2 goes into 7 tens 3 times. So that's 6 tens. We have 1 ten left over, which means we really have 12 ones left over. And then we can say 2 uh, goes into 12 uh, 6 times. So that's 6 times 12. I mean, 6 times 2 is 12, so we subtract and we get 0. Now, because we have a remainder of 0, that means, yes, 2 is a factor of 72. Not only is 2 a factor of 72, but so is 36, because 2 times 36... Did I say 76? I meant 36. Anyway, 2 times 36 is 72. So that means both 2 and 36 are factors of 72. And the idea is we could do that with any of these problems. Just use simple division. Oh, let's do D. Is 2 a factor of 60? Well, if you divide and get a remainder of 0, 
That means the answer is yes. And in this case, it is going to be yes, because 2 goes into 6 three times. That's nothing. And you have no holes, uh, no ones either. So the answer is 30. So we know that 2 times 30 is equal to 60. So that means both 2 and 30 are factors of 60. Now here they want us to use the associative property. I showed that on a couple of slides ago to find more factors. And then we're not going to necessarily find all the factors, but this will help us find more of the factors. So we're going to begin with something that we know. 12 is equal to 6 times 2. Well, we could take that 6 and we can break that apart and make it 3 times 2. So this 3 times 2 is replacing the 6. And now we can use the associative property to change how they're grouped. So now we're not changing the order of the numbers, we're just changing how they're grouped. So now you have 3 times and then 2 times 2, which means you have 3 times 4. And since 3 times 4 is 12, that means we did everything correctly. But the idea would be, well, what are our factors of 12? Well, we know 6 is a factor of 12. We know 2 is a factor of 12. And we now know that 3 and 4 are factors of 12 because 3 times 4 equals 12. So that's not a way to find all of the factors. It's just a way to find more of the factors of 12. Let's try that on B. So we're going to start with 30 is equal to blank times 5. Well, that's 6 times 5. Now we're going to decompose or factor that 6 to become 2 times 3 times 5. And then we're going to change the grouping. So that's the associative property. And now we have 2 is on the outside. So it's 2 times 3 times 5. And 3 times 5 is 15 right here. And 2 goes right there. And since 2 times 15 is 30, I could put that here as well, we now have some factors. We know that 6 and 5 are factors of 30, and we know that 2 and 15 are factors of 30. We didn't find all of the factors, we just found some of them. Alright, so they're saying the first statement is false. This is false. And the second statement is true. All right. So explain why using words, pictures, or numbers. So what I think I'm going to do is, without getting into this, like super crazy number theory, I think I'm going to explain that first statement and not so much prove it, um, although it doesn't say prove, it just says explain. So I'm going to try and explain it in what I think is a fourth grade appropriate way of saying it. So if a number has 2 and 6, are factors. Does that mean 12 is always a factor automatically? Well, if 2 and 6 are factors, an example of that would be 6 is uh, an example of that, because 2 goes into 6 and 6 goes into 6. Another example of a number that has both 2 and 6 is 12. And um, because 2 goes into 12 and 6 goes into 12 perfectly without any remainder. Ah, but here is a number. Well, 18 has both 2 and 6 as factors. Um, so because 2 goes into 18 and 6 goes eight, into 18, but 12 is not a factor of 18 because 12 does not go into 18. In fact, we can even backtrack a little bit and say 6 does not have 12 as a factor because you cannot say 12 times something equals 6 using whole numbers. And that's the point of this lesson is that we're only supposed to be dealing with whole numbers. So both 6 and 18 are examples of numbers that have 2 and 6 as factors, but not 12. Now, if a number has, now let's do that second 
1. If a number has 12 as a factor, does that mean automatically 2 and 6 are 2 and 6 factors? All right. Well, let's see. What are some numbers that have 12 as a factor? Well, 12, because 12 divided by 12 is 1. And then 24 is going to have 12 as a factor. And let's see, 36, 48, dot, 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 dot. And we can see that in each of these cases, the 2 and 6 will go into 12. 2 and 6 will go into 24. 2 and 6 will go into 36. And it looks like it's going to be this way every single time. And so that's why it's true. Now, teachers, I did not give a full-on proof. I gave what I think is a fourth grade appropriate explanation. If you really want to know how we can prove that 2 and 6 are always factors, you could take that 12, you could take this 12, and change it to, well, think of it as 12 times 1. And then you could think of this 24 as 12 times 2. You could think of that 36 as 12 times 3, etc. And <clears throat> we know that 12 is always going to be a factor because it's always one of the pro uh, factors here. It's 12 times 1, 12 times 2, 12 times 3. So 12 is always going to be a factor. Now that's more of a, an official number theory proof. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 23, taking a little diversion from division, and we're taking some time to talk about the associative property. Uh, we're talking about factors. Uh, we're talking about um, multiples, really. And we're just uh, using the associative property. We're just kind of taking a slight break from the official division algorithm, although we did use division to prove that 3 is a factor of 24, so we use division there.